Hi, I'm Kay Nash and welcome to Prophetically Whole. If you're new here, we're in the middle of a 20-part series in order to help you have a whole life in Christ. Hmm. Today we're on day 11, but if you want to go backwards, you can go and watch videos on the playlist. Hmm. All right, you guys, today we are talking about upgrading your life. Hmm. All right, this is kind of something I want you to think about. If you want a promotion from God, it is often going to take bringing up everything you have now to a standard of excellence. Mm. You know, if you kind of like live a sloppy life, then it's like you might not be promoted. And we're going to get more into specifics in that in a second. And so let's go into some scripture. Mm. Um, this is Daniel 5, 11, 13. Jesus. There is a man in your kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods in the days of your father, light and understanding and wisdom like the wisdom of the gods were found in him. Now, obviously, it's God, but he, you know, he's speaking from a secular perspective here. Um, found in him and King Nebuchadnezzar, your father, your father, the king, made him chief of the magicians and tanters, astrologers, because an excellent spirit of knowledge and understanding to interpret dreams and riddles was found in this Daniel. Hmm. Now this is another one, Daniel 6, 3. Then this Daniel became distinguished above all the other high officials because an excellent spirit was in him and the king planned to send him over the whole realm. When you have an excellent spirit on you, that is going to lead to promotion. I think we live in a very lackadaisical culture where people are often doing what the, the smallest thing to get by. They're like, you know, their boss asks them to do something and they do just enough to get by and then they want a promotion. Why would your boss promote you if you're doing just enough? Your go boss is going to promote you when you're doing more than enough. And it's the same thing with God. You know, there's basic requirements to Christianity. But if you really want to step into promotion, you have to bring things up to a standard of excellence. It might be your health. It might be your home. It might be your relationships. It might be your ministry headquarters. It might be your business headquarters. It might be just going further at your job than you were before. It might be just cleaning and you, you know things are really dirty and you're asking God for new stuff and it's not there. I always think this, if I want God to give me more, I have to become more. I have to act like more. I have to be more. And, you know, we don't always like that because we just want God to just give us things, give us things, give us things. But it's like you haven't shown God that you are excellent at this level. If you want God to promote you, you have to ask, show God that you are excellent at this level. Um, let's go into Luke 16, 10. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. You know, it's like God sees what you're doing and that's how he decides who is going to be promoted. You know, it says the eyes of the Lord look through the earth and it's like he does, he does outwardly and inwardly inspections. Are you passing the inwardly inspection? Is your heart right before the Lord? Are you passing the outwardly inspections? Have you done everything you're supposed to do before the Lord? Now, I think that there's often the grace of God. You know, God could just bless us with something that we don't deserve because that's the grace of God. However, if you want to walk in a leadership position, you want to walk at a higher level than you're at now, you have to go the extra mile. You know, I've been promoted in many situations. You know, I went from serving tables to becoming the restaurant manager when there was people that had been there way longer than me and they were pretty upset. But you know what? I was willing to put in the extra miles. I was willing to clean and do things that maybe other people weren't. Plus the anointing of God on my life will make room for you. You know, I worked in television and I worked as an intern in the three weeks I was hired as an associate producer because in those three weeks they saw how much I was dedicated to the company and they gave me a job. They, I didn't, I didn't even apply for either of these jobs. I did not fill out an application for either of these jobs. I did not have to go through an interview process for either of these jobs. I was just given the manager position. I was just given the associate producer position. Now, sometimes you do have to go through a process. When I wanted to become you know, a producer, they put me through a six week test. And after that six week test, you know, I gave it everything I got. I, and they gave me a promotion and they gave me a $17,000 raise. And so 
I think if you want a promotion, are you willing to go the extra mile? You know, your com companies are often looking at the bottom line of things. They're often saying, can this person produce more products for us? Can this person produce more income for us? Can this person make a better work environment for us? What are you really adding to the company if you want that promotion? And if you're an entrepreneur, you know, how can you treat your customers better? What products can you create that are even better than the products you already have now? If you're a minister, how can you serve people better? How can you do something above and beyond what you did before? And, you know, this is often hard because in this season of becoming excellent, you might not be seen. You might be in a cocoon season where you're just hidden with the Lord and you're figuring things out, how to bring things up. You know, I feel like God always tests me before I get to move. He's like, you got to keep this house clean that you have now if you want another house, you know. And so I always encourage people, if you want an upgrade, upgrade. If you want, I feel the Lord right now. If you want an upgrade, you upgrade, okay? You show God that everything's at the possi possible max that you can do, you know? It's like, you know, sometimes you can only go so far because you only have so much money, you only have so much things. But once you get that, I I'm telling you, I've seen this time and time again in my life when I've kind of used all the money I can or used all the time I can to make something excellent. If there's anything else that needs to be done to make it excellent, God will then provide those funds because I've already completed the assignment. You have to understand that God sees everything and whatever you do in secret is revealed in the light, okay? Now, sometimes people take a fast lane to success and there's a hole in their success because, you know, they didn't they didn't go through all the steps. They they skipped a couple steps. They, you know, manipulated or made bad connections, you know. We're supposed to be equally yoked with our business connections and things like that. And so it's like they kind of skipped a couple steps. And so you don't want to do that. You want to have a proper foundation. So when you're promoted, you're on solid ground. And it's, it's not like quicksand, like you, you ran up the mountain and you're not supposed to be there and boom, you know, you want to have that solid ground promotion so that it lasts, Jesus. Hmm. Well, you guys, I just want to encourage you today to ask the Lord, what do I need to upgrade? What do I need to bring into a spirit of excellence? Because you look at Daniel's life and it says, because a spirit of excellence was upon him, he was promoted not just in one kingdom, but several different kingdoms. Daniel always got himself promoted because of the excellence that he walked in. And I really believe excellence is a spirit. It's a spirit that makes you go the extra mile. It's one of God's holy spirits, okay? It's like you have that, I'm going to go the extra mile. I'm going to do more than others. And, you know, if you want to lead, you got to do more than everybody else. Why would, why would God let you lead when you're doing the same as everybody else? You got to go further. You got to go better. You got to give it all you got. You know, now don't burn yourself out. We talked about self-love a couple of days ago. And if you haven't watched that, you can go back and watch that. But it's like, don't burn yourself out to the ground, but go as hard as you can. There is more in you than you even know. You know, we have the spirit of might in us. And as you push forward, you'll be surprised what you actually find inside of you. Jesus. Mm. Well, you guys, I hope that you would join me for our conference if you're a woman. Um, for prophetic women worldwide this year. Our theme is upgrade and um, I, I think we have like 115 of you already registered and so I'm excited to meet all you ladies to come out there and um, it's January 9th and we are gathering as prophetic women once a year. Um, we have done this since I think 2015 and so you can see um, some of the shots from former um, conferences here. But um, the point of this is so important because we gather together every year to get the word from the Lord, to really upgrade our lives and to go to the next level. There's something about when a bunch of prophetic women get in the same room, the Holy Spirit is moving so mightily because he'll tell one woman this, he'll tell another woman this, and there's just a momentum in the room. And before you know it, God's downloading to you what your plan is for the next year. God's telling you some big things. And so I'm excited to meet you guys there, all of you that's already registered. I'm excited to see you. And if you haven't registered, why don't you pray about it and ask the Lord if you're supposed to meet us in Florida. We are in stage three, so um, we'll have... Everything's at full capacity right now, so we'll be excited to have you guys here. You can find out more information about that on my website at knashministries.com. Just click on the event tab. 
All right, you guys. Well, I love you and I will see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern for our next video in our Prophetically Whole series. All right, love you guys. Bye.